The state DOT is issuing an apology tonight and putting up several flagpoles along I-90 that were previously taken down. Three were removed last Friday, and the move did not sit well with local veterans. The DOT cited rigging and lighting issues as their reason for removing the flagpoles. Ashley Adlin tells us what led to the about face. Take a drive down I-490, and you'll see her twice. Old Glory is back, at least near Comcell Park and the I-490, I-390 interchange and gates. The DOT has been busy putting the flags back up after removing them Friday, citing rigging and lighting issues. The Mineral County Veterans Center says the state DOT didn't notify them. It just happened without anybody knowing about it. Which is a problem, according to Director Nick Stefanovich, because he says they would have taken care of the problem. In fact, he says after those flags were donated, Vietnam veterans were the ones taking care of them. The Vietnam veterans took care of them for 10 years. Okay. And then the state um, was charging them a fee, like a permit fee, mm -hmm. to take care of them. Stefanovic says the VVA stopped paying and a debate about who was going to take care of the flags went back and forth for some time. But he maintains they would have come up with a solution had they known this was going on. I mean, I could have raised the money to have those things taken care of within two weeks. The state DOT said they considered having an outside group take over the polls maintenance, but determined it would be too dangerous. Today, the DOT's acting state commissioner apologized for the whole incident, saying, quote, On behalf of the department, I sincerely apologize to anyone who may have been offended, particularly our veterans and other service members who have served our nation so bravely. Gatestown Supervisor Mark Gassini told us over the phone today they're trying to get a permit from the state DOT to take over one of the sites at the 490-390 interchange in Gates. He told us they're willing to maintain the flagpole, lighting system, and landscaping. Adam. Thanks, Ashley. Three flagpoles were removed and only two have been reinstalled so far. The DOT says they are working to, quote, identify a permanent location where all three flagpoles can be properly maintained safely long term.